Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Will from Wilbrat Design. Today we're going to be looking at a new file I've created for the Figma community uh, for the iPhone 14 Pro and specifically around the Dynamic Island. So this document contains a lot of different things so I'm going to go through it in this video and show you how to use it. So this will be free to download from the Figma community and the link to that will be in the description below. So if we take a look at the iPhone 14 Pro page, so working our way down, so we've got the cover, just this blank page to separate and these are the three pages that are of most interest. So if we take a look at this we've got a plain white frame with the iPhone 14 Pro component that I've built on top. So this component includes the frame of the iPhone, the wallpaper and then the dynamic island. So if we click into this we can see that it is a component and we have these different properties that we can change. So we can change which phone we want. So we can change to deep purple, gold, silver, and space black. So those are the four iPhones that Apple offer uh, for the iPhone 14 Pro, so the different colors. We can then have a look at all the different dynamic islands, and we've got quite a few here. So we've got uh, calling, we've got charging battery, we've got music playing, uh, another calling one, and so on. Um, I've also added this extra property here where we can add our custom image. So if we display this, we can see that it loads just a, a blank color. But if we come down to the screen and go to add your image here, you can actually add your own background here. But you can also toggle it on and off if you want to just have the default background there. So that is the um, iPhone 14 Pro component. Its width is 445 by 896 and the screen itself is 393 by 852 which is um, one third of the actual size of the iPhone dimensions. So I've been looking at some other examples um, on Figma of how people have done this and they're actually using different resolution which when you scale it up doesn't actually match the pixel resolution of the iPhone. So this should be correct. Please let me know in the comments below if that is not correct but I believe it is. So if we then look at, let's go to the components next. So here we can see all the different components and starting up here we've got the small components so we've got things like the silent, the charging, uh, a loader, we've got a song which you can swap out for whatever you want, just change the image here. I've chosen this uh, Princess Nokia one and then we've got this music wave which if I press shift E we can see actually is animated as well which is pretty cool. We've then got all the different dynamic islands here. So these are all the different ones available so far. I'll be adding to this as we go. These were just pulled from the uh, the Apple demo that was done a few weeks back. Um, so for example, Lyft. We don't really have Lyft in the UK, I don't think. But I've added it anyway because it was part of the demo. And I've then added myself into here with my own little logo. Here we have the background and the background assets. So these are all the different ones and you can go into those and you can see the image is attached to each one of those so those are the four backgrounds and then we have the iPhones using that background so if we go into this deep purple one for example we can see uh, the body and how the body was built so the way I did that was I pulled in a screenshot and then drew basic shapes and then just did a color that closely ra uh, represented that shape so I was able to build things like the power button, uh, volume buttons, the mute, all that kind of stuff from a accurate image or a photo of the actual device itself and then I've done the same for all the different colors. Okay so that's components so you can use these in whatever way you want but if we take a look at the prototype and I'll press shift E so we can see in this prototype we are just morphing through the different um, dynamic islands we're not actually offering any interactions there's no apps or anything on the screen but it's just to show you how they would work and that they all animate nicely so let's have a quick look at that now so just loading this prototype real quick okay so this prototype it waits for an initial click and then it will just play through so let's click that we can see it's going through the different uh, backgrounds and then the dynamic island up there is changing and that bounce is as close as I could get to what is actually what Apple uses. So we can take a look at that here. 
So if we go into, for example, this one, we can see I've gone for a smart animate over 750 milliseconds with a stiffness of 160, damping of 16 and a mass of one, and that is a custom bounce. So that's how that's done. So I really hope you like this file. As I said, I'll be adding to this as I go. Um, again, this is free. All my files are always free. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you would like to see added to this file. Maybe the iPhone 14 Pro Max, maybe some app uh, icons, that kind of thing. Maybe some other stuff, let me know. And I hope you appreciate this video and let me know how you get on with the file. Thanks for watching.